welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So here is my bare face. I think today is time for pamper sash. It's been a long time since I've actually practiced a bit of self-love and just like had a night to myself. So I'm actually gonna do some brow lamination today. I am a trained brow technician. So I do appointments in Cardiff and yeah, so I am trained to do brow lamination, but everyone asks me, how do I do it by myself at home? So I will pop some kits down below that I recommend uh, for you to, to use, but I will be using my professional equipment, but there are a few kits out there which I highly recommend, so I'll pop that in the description box. First thing I'm gonna do is just zoom you in because you can see my brows this is what i'm working with at the moment my brows sit very like down downwards as you can see um a little trick i like to do with a spoolie by the way pop them like this and then you can really push the brow hairs up i do this for my lashes as well I was thinking about doing a lash lift as well but I think I will do a separate video on that. So if you wanna see how I do my lash lifts, which are definitely need to be done, then let me know. Just brushing my hairs, as you can see, they like to sit quite downwards like this. And my aim is to kind of sit them upwards a little bit. So not too like, oh, I just put myself in the eye. So not just too straight up like this. I just wanna make them a look like a lot more fuller. Brow lamination is a perming of the hair. So I will be perming my hair slightly upwards like this. Some people like to have them really vertically straight like this, but I like to have them just a little bit on the natural side. So a little bit like that way, like a like diagonal, I guess. You can tint your brow hair as well, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be tinting it a lot today. Um, I might do a little tint, but nothing too crazy, just cause I do like the look of a slightly lighter brow. First thing I'm gonna do is just make sure that my brows have nothing on them, even though I've not been wearing makeup all day, I just wanna make sure that there is nothing around this area that can affect them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the Lash and Brow Shampoo from Hello Gorgeous. And they're an independent company. You have to be trained to get those products, but obviously I will try and link something down below that I recommend. Just taking a cotton pad, just brushing that product or brushing. <laughs> smoothing that product around those brows just to clean them up because even though the hair looks clean it might not be clean especially with like pollution in the atmosphere um and yeah I'm a little bit aggressive when I come to myself I'm just a lot tougher whereas when I'm doing brow lamination on clients I'm a lot more gentle the first solution is the lifting cream which is comes in a sachet so mine is from hello gorgeous and it says step one on there lifting cream which is what we want and when you have your kit there will be a step one or a lifting cream on the package so you know what you're doing. I am gonna use one sachet that's already open that I've used on another client. I like to get as much as I can out of my sachets. It actually smells so eggy, I will never get used to this smell. But I am taking the um, sachet, just taking some of that um, lifting cream and then I'm just gonna brush it through my hairs of my brow. I'm trying not to get it on the skin so much because we don't want redness to happen around the skin. So you want to get like a fair amount on the brow hairs. So I'm actually doing this without a mirror. I'm actually using the viewfinder as a mirror. I don't want to do it as quickly as you can really because you want the timings on both sides to be perfect. So I'm just pop in the solution on the other side now, running it through my brows. So as soon as that cream is on, I'm gonna set my timer for about five minutes. You want to catch it literally as soon as it takes, because if you go for the full time it says on there and it's taken halfway through and it'll just start kind of burning the hair or making the hair go a little bit weird. So you wanna make sure that you are catching the hair 
as quickly as possible, as soon as it's lifted. If you're finding that brow lamination is actually um, making your hairs fall out, then it could be because you're putting the cream on too long. Even if it says the amount on there, like eight minutes, for example, if the product says leave it on for eight minutes, check after five honestly just because every hair is different so it's like a rough estimate of how long it's going to take if you've got coarser hair it may take longer if you've got fairer hair like me it's very thin um it will take less time to take i'm going to take a little bit of cling film and i'm just going to wrap that on my hair to keep the heat in i like to kind of just really tightly put that over my brows and this just keeps the heat in even though like i look like a crazy woman okay so the timer has gone off for five minutes so i'm just gonna peel this back just to have a look at what the hairs are doing and brush them upwards which they can so they have taken with five minutes i'm just gonna make sure that I wipe off the solution. So that's taken really nicely. So I get, now I'm able to manipulate the hair into any way that I want, which is great. Um, and you wanna make sure that, that every part of the brow has taken. So I'm just gonna have a look here. So I can actually sit it vertically, which is a good sign. If the hair is bouncing back into that position, then it has not taken. So the next product I'm gonna use is the neutralizing lotion, which is step two. And I'm gonna take the opposite end of my cotton pad, cotton bud even, and I'm just gonna take the solution onto the cotton bud and I'm gonna work it through the whole brow. For some reason, this solution is just a tiny bit more liquidy. This doesn't smell as eggy as the other one. As soon as that solution is on, what we're gonna do, we're gonna time it, because if we don't time it, as soon as it happens, it might um, mess up the timings. So I've just put it on for five minutes, and what I'm gonna do whilst I'm waiting is I'm taking a little tiny brow crook brow comb, I can't talk today. I'm taking a little tiny brow comb and I'm just gonna set it into the position that I want. This is gonna be quite hard without a mirror, so maybe I need to get a mirror. And then when I'm playing around with it after, I like to kind of make them less stand up -ish, if that is a word. We've kind of got a shape that we want. And then I'm just gonna take that same bit of cling film but the opposite side and then I'm gonna pop that on my brows and I will be back in a bit. We are done with setting so I'm just gonna take this cling film off. So I've taken the, the time that I took was five minutes. So the same time as I put on the, the lifting cream is what I'm going to do for the neutralizing cream. So it's exactly the same. So I'm just going to take some of this solution off. I'm going to do like a lifting motion. This is just going to help the hair sit a bit upwards. You might find it, it tingles a little bit because it's not supposed to be on your skin. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments because um, I want this to be a useful video for you guys. So I'm going to take a new spoolie, a nice and clean one, and I'm going to just pop it into that shape. And just going to look at how my brows are doing. So I'm really happy with them so far. What I'm going to do is pop some tint on. So my all time favorite tint to use is the Combinol um, in shade five, brown. It's my all time favorite. And I use this on all my clients and it comes with the um, hydrogen peroxide solution as well. So you've got to mix these together as it will not, the chemical reaction won't happen. So I've got a little glass pot here and I'm just gonna pop the solution in there. So like a teaspoon. I don't wanna actually um, tint my brows too much so I'm not going to put it on for a lot, a lot at all because as you can probably tell my brows they are they they're so thin and fair so they're going to take to this solution real quickly so I'm just going to pop three drops in there 
And then I'm going to take a cotton bud. I usually have a brush, but I can't find it. So I'm just going to mix that solution up just so it's just a little bit less thicker than it was. Um, you don't want it to be watery. That means you've put too much peroxide in it. So it should be like this. Just start on the tail of the brow. Stop in the center, tail of the brow. And then I'm gonna stop in the center. And then I'm gonna then do the rest of my brows. So what that does is just make sure that it's even rather than if you did one brow at a time, you might get stuck with like one darker brow than the other. Just using the other side now just to make sure that the tint is nice and clean. So I'm gonna take the tint off because already it's getting dark. So I'm just gonna take a dry cotton pad first. Just take the excess off, that's perfect perfect colour. So I'm just going to take a dry cotton pad to start with and then I'm just going to wet this cotton pad and do it again because it will keep developing. <laughs> you don't want it to keep developing. You can see that it's exposed loads of hairs underneath. So my next thing is going to be tweezing. I'm going to see if there's like any hairs that I need to pluck, which there definitely is. So I'm just going to tweeze underneath. I do like to sugar wax usually, but um, I can't do it on myself as much as I can do it on other people. I'm gonna tweeze off camera. <laughs> so basically I'll talk you through what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go un underneath the brown, and I personally like a line from here to the arch and then it to go round. So I'm gonna work towards a line here to the center and then it to go round. I'm gonna also work some hairs by here, some mono brows that I've got going on. Um, and I also have some hairs around here on my hairline. I'm really sorry, but I got heavily distracted with dealing with an ingrowing hair on my eyelid. So if it looks a little bit red and sore, it's because an actual ingrowing hair was growing on my eyelid and it caused a spot and then I tried to get it out with tweezers. It took me about half an hour and a lot of blood, um, but we will forget about that. So I've tweezed my brows. I don't want to do too much. I'm just shaping them around the arch. Like I said, I like a straight line and then around. Obviously, I'm trying to grow my brow on this side a little bit more because this one is slightly heavier and denser. Next thing I'm gonna do is pop some coconut oil on. I absolutely love coconut oil. It's really good for the hair growth and it's also really good to add like a, that lamination shine after it. And it's a lot cheaper than the moisturizing serum that they have with the kit. I have a huge jar of coconut oil here from Sainsbury's and I'm just gonna dip my spoolie in the jar. And then I'm gonna just comb through my brows with the coconut oil. I love doing this because I think that it really gives them that really nice lamination shine. And it also like really puts the moisture back into the hair because you have just per perming lotion on there. So it's sort of like the same as if you were doing your normal hair, you're putting like, this is like the serum to like, finish it off. This is where you can like really shape them and then you should leave them for 48 hours with no water, steam or anything like that. Um, so I'm not going to put any makeup on them for a while. absolutely love brow lamination. It's such a good treatment. It lasts for like two months as well. Sorry, I'm going to zoom you out now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my brows laminated freshly and I'm really happy with the results. I think the tint is perfect for me. I didn't go overboard, which sometimes I do, um, but I probably could have gone maybe a shade darker, but I actually really like a lighter brow. Um, they're a lot fuller. I don't know if you remember, but my brows at the beginning were like, one was like more angled and the other was a bit more round. And this is a really good way of like kind of manipulating the hair to go a different way. So this one I've kind of manipulated to go more upwards and round. So they look like actual 
maybe near nearly the same whereas before they look completely different from each other um so yeah i'm really happy with the results if you have any questions about anything let me know the aftercare is pretty simple no sunbeds no sun no steam no water no makeup for 48 hours and then you can put some coconut oil i always say to every single client i have coconut oil um once a week if you can help it um but yeah i'll pop some kits down below that i recommend and i'll pop some little um bits that i've used tools and everything down below as well so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you want me to do a lash lift video let me know now i've got that little ingrown hair out I am so keen to do a lash lift, so maybe I can film that if you want that. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.